So I think one thing that Narnia fans have appreciated about our adaptations is I'm sticking true to the book. If there's something in there that's epic, we're just gonna have to go for it and make it happen. When I come to script writing of the Narnia series, I wanna make sure that I, I respectfully understand that, again, this is C.S. Lewis's work. He has all these amazing ideas and I do not want to do them a disservice in my fear of not being able to do them on the stage. So you have to kind of go through it in faith and really make sure your artistic team is on board for a crazy ride because the Narnia books are made for adventure and magic. The bunny. The bunny. So I think one of the, the funniest, um, I guess, behind the scenes facts about our Narnia series is that I said to my husband Noah several years ago that the Narnia series would be one series I would never direct. When you come in to do a Narnia book, you're dealing with, um, and one of the reasons I said I'd never do them is because you are dealing with literature that has really been a part of people's lives growing up. They're also not written for stage. In fact, I don't think C.S. Lewis had any thoughts of them going onto stage because I don't think he wanted it to be dumbed down at all or the messages changed by us not being able to do the tricks. So yeah, it's gonna take some extra work. It's gonna take us thinking outside the box. It's gonna take us building two epic horses, but I'm right now in the process of working on the directing side of things, so all the things that I've seen on paper now have to come to life with people and the puppets. It's, it's so worth putting our time and our effort into, and the process is involved, but it is beautiful in the end to see it all come together.